Guys, I just ordered from McDonald's. Does anyone want? No, I can't eat from there. Why? Uh, I'm a vegan. I can't eat any animal products, uh, meat, chicken, fish. Can you believe that? I feel like it's not a big deal. I actually know a lot of people who are vegan. I actually doubt that. You know what? Me and Drew are going to go ask some Faisal students. نمط الحياة النباتي موضوع مثير للجدل بعض الناس مع الموضوع وبعضهم ضده كثير من الناس غير مثقفين عن الموضوع فالسؤال هو لماذا تصبح نباتيا؟ السلام عليكم I'm Jude Shamrani a first year medical student and I'm Hiba Qasim a first year medical student and we're here to ask the Faisal students what they think about veganism If you could describe veganism in one word what would it be? Healthy. Well, vegetables. Freedom. Freedom of choice. Starvation. Uh, Self-control. It's a choice of lifestyle. Animal friendly. Environment. Choice. Are you for or against veganism? Well, I'm not against it at all, but I'm fine with them. I'm neutral. Like I find that everyone has their own choice whether they want to be vegan or not. Actually, I'm against it because you can't live without eating meat. Okay, I'm neutral. I don't care. As an idea of veganism. Uh, I'm not with and I'm not against two of them. Of course, I'm against. Mm, I'm against. Against. Oh, absolutely. 100% for. Well, I'm for it. It's okay if people want to do it. Would you ever be a vegan? No. No, impossible. No. Uh, personally, no. I'm for meat eating. Nope, I love meat too much. <laughs> uh, personally, no, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> no. Well, no. Of course not, I will die. No. <laughs> no, not me. Actually, I am 98% vegan right now. Um, halloumi is my only weakness, that's where I'm losing the 2%. But uh, uh, yes, I'm, I'm trying to be 100%, but as long as halloumi is on the market, it'll be hard. <laughs> Wait, so is leather vegan? <laughs> hey guys, Hi. I asked around, I asked my Faisal students about what they thought about veganism yeah. and I got some pretty interesting reviews but I still don't understand why anyone would consider veganism. I just feel like if you're more open-minded about the topic, you would understand like why I'm vegan and why a lot of people are vegan. But you're putting so much effort and time into it, I don't think it's worth it. I mean, it. it's a matter of choice. Like, you choose to have a so healthier expensive. lifestyle. There's like and no vegan products in the supermarket. No, but like... Wait, you guys. Here. Yeah, but... How about we ask an expert? So my name is Raoul. Um, I'm 23 years old. Um, I've been I came back to the two years ago, and I've been vegan since. So I haven't had I haven't eaten meat in about seven years, Mom. and yeah, and I do not miss it at <laughs> all. What made you become a vegan? So I became vegetarian at first because my um, one of my friends was vegetarian. So I was like, oh, this sounds interesting. Like, let's try this for a week. I tried new foods for the first time, and I liked the food that I tried. So that was a fun experiment. So yeah, I told my parents. At first, they were not supportive at all, especially because I lost a lot of weight at first. Um, so they were like concerned about my health. Um, but once I proved to them that I'm actually healthier than ever, they actually started thinking about adapting the diet themselves uh, and trying to eat like more uh, a plant-based uh, Diet. So that was great. Uh, what are some of the challenges you face with veganism? Mm. Uh, right now, I would say I don't really have any challenges. Um, I found a solution for just about anything. I find like solution like if I go to a family gathering, I either bring my food with me and then for everyone to share. And there's always dates, there's always a salad, there's always hummus. But yeah, there's always something vegan. I've never had an issue like mm -hmm. not finding something to eat. That's amazing. So, Raoul, in your opinion, um, why do you think veganism is so important? Where do I start? <laughs> Where do I start? <laughs> okay, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Number one, I would say, like that's what most people are concerned about is their health, mm -hmm. and especially now here in the Middle East and Saudi Arabia, especially, 
Like you see, diabetes rates are, are skyrocketing. Sure. Obesity, yeah. heart heart disease, everything. Like like diabetes is no longer uh, adult and children diabetes because children are getting the type two diabetes, and it's so sad to see that. And it, it, like it breaks my heart to see a teenager or a child who's overweight. True. Yeah, and for what? For McDonald? Like for a burger? <laughs> for a cookie? <laughs> it's, it's not worth it. Yeah. If if kids are used to eating healthy from the beginning, like fruits taste amazing. Um, does, healthy does, food yeah. can taste good. Yeah. And you never really realize, you know, how much food is actually vegan. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. True. Like, who doesn't love what I get? I was gonna say that. <laughs> بعد أن تحدثنا مع رؤوم وقابلنا بعض من طلاب جامعة الفيصل استنتجنا أن كثيرا من الناس خصوصا في الشرق الأوسط لديهم نظرة سلبية عن الحياة النباتية والهدف من حملتنا التوعوية هي أن نغير هذه النظرة اتباع نظام غذائي نباتي واستهلاك الفواكه الخضروات المكسرات والبذور يؤدي إلى الوقاية من الأمراض المزمنة مثل التهاب المفاصل ارتفاع ضغط الدم ومرض السكري كما أنه يقاوم نقص فيتامين دي 90% من الأسماك تتلوث من تسرب الزيت أو البترول والملوثات وإذا كنت تفكر في اتباع نظام غذاء نباتي فهذه عدة نصائح من النباتية خبيرة التغذية رؤوم واحد عندما تتبع نظام غذاء نباتي فمن المهم أن تأخذ وقتك في البداية اثنين أدخل الوجبات النباتية في نظام غذائك اليومي بشكل تدريجي ثلاثة احرص على تجنب الوجبات الغنية بالكربوهيدرات وتأكد من عدم وجود فقر للعناصر الغذائية الأساسية Thank you.